Good day, everybody. Uh, thank you, Tinglet, for giving me the opportunity to uh, share with you what little I know about design. And I'm not going to talk about the fancy designs that you see in terms of architecture, in terms of um, you know the Picasso-like paintings, you know. But I'm going to share with you what I think is the design for us Malaysian youths, predominantly those uh, who are under the age of 40 and in the age of 30. So what I'm going to bring you through this uh, presentation is a lot on reflections, realization, and the way forward and how I see our upbringing as Malaysian youths and what are we designed for uh, the world coming up next. Okay, this is the overview of my presentation for today in which I'll bring you to a short history trip uh, across different times where I would classify the old days as the day before we achieved independence. The Freedom Age was the day when we tasted independence, you know, 31st of August 1957. We had the Knowledge Era, which is introduced by our patron, Dr. Mahathir, in the past. And of course, the Innovation Age that we're in right now. But today, I'm going to talk to you about something more pressing. A pressing issue that I believe all of us use today in Malaysia are designed for, and should be designed for. That is the Globalization Age. Bringing local talents, showcasing local efforts of us Malaysians to a global level. So, just in a nutshell to give you, during the olden days, we were very much like followers with low self-esteem and with a lack of identity because we were a colonial state. We were merely following the examples and the best practices of countries or, if you would say, the invaders that were in our country. All is fine, but of course, that resulted in us lacking our own national identity, something that we could be proud of for the future to come. And of course, when we achieve independence, we start to showcase our cultures more proudly. There are no longer restrictions, no longer barriers. We can now paint our brand, but at the same time, we will now learn to lead. And as we move on to the knowledge age, where a lot of emphasis is being put to build a professional workforce, this is where we start to be encouraged to actually learn new skills and new talent to actually accommodate our placement in the ever-competitive global economy, per se. But today we're in the innovation age, where a lot of the government buzzwords, even corporate industries, are centered around entrepreneurship, innovation. Both of these buzzwords have something to do with recognizing a problem, seeing an opportunity, and seeing what can I do about it. But more importantly as well is to realize that there are more than one ways of doing things which in, in essence is doing things more creatively. For the globalization age, I actually advocate that Malaysian youth should start championing a brand called the Malaysian Youth Brand, in which we are proud to showcase our diversity in culture, our tolerance, our understanding, and our appreciation of the different facets of life that we would have or we would face in Malaysia. Now, during the olden days, as I explained just now, some of the main points I'd like to draw your attention. In Malaysia, from my previous experience uh, globally, when I've uh, furthered my studies overseas, have done projects globally, what happened is I see that Malaysian youths are actually faced with a dilemma. That is, we're having this problem of an inferiority complex. Because we always think that we're second best. And if you, if you study history, this could be traced back to our old times, when there was a servant-master relationship between Malaysians and those who were actually in our country at that time. We were deprived of education, awareness, and more importantly, exposures. And as well, we, have, we, we lack the identity. And when we lack the identity, we do not have that strong grasp on the values that we can champion. Okay, I'll be speaking from here then. So as you can see, these are the pictures that paint our old Malaysia, or if you say Malaya. So from these pictures you can see that though we are seen as united, as an harmonious race, notice that we are often looked as backward as well. As countries in the modern or western states have cars, we are still seen as using a kereta lembu, if you put it that way. Of course, this would have triggered the revolution that we Malaysians have carried on to the freedom age, or what I call the independent age, 
where a new country was born, and we are more tolerant and appreciate, um, we have a high appreciation towards different cultures, and we begin to paint our brand. But most importantly, we begin exploring. But as we move on to the knowledge age, what I've noticed personally as a youth is that we became academically savvy, yet not practically savvy. In a sense, we were very much focused on books, but not on the practical knowledge of thinking out of the box of being innovative. Well, at least that is now being pushed by our government and by our sectors right now. But what's more importantly, if you notice uh, the uh, example below where during those times, we tend to accept, understand, and obey rather than challenge and be curious and inquire, which is one of the weaknesses that I find us Malaysian youth have. A design that we have had way where we have inherited from the past but needs to change as we progress into the future. And most of our efforts during the knowledge age, I believe, are lone efforts. Think about it. Everybody during that age would compete for the higher wage, for the higher position. Have you ever thought that we would now need to change our design as used to co-produce and co-create efforts for the benefit of the masses? I'll show you why. Now, the innovation age. Well, like I said again, this age brings upon new ways of doing things. We are now more open. With the advent of the internet, we are now more, I don't know, free to get information and to get whatever awareness you want for your causes. But what's more importantly as well, we're beginning to actually appreciate information and networks formed uh, between our peers locally and also globally. But the question is, we're now in the innovation age, what is coming up? Well, here is my advocate or my suggestion for you. Welcome to the globalization age. Well, I will actually share with you my experiences on how I believe Malaysian news are shaping the world with both of your hands, literally speaking. And at the same time as well, we are crafting out an identity that we need to showcase to the world. And that we as Malaysian news have access to broadband, fast internet. Believe me, I've been to several countries. We do have one of the faster internets in the world. Proud to say that. But what's more important is how do we leverage on this platform? Because they're all free. And of course, with the advent in technology, it helps us in searching for information, searching for talent, and searching for opportunities.